Now on this video we will be taking a look at the P55 platform once again as some of you who watch my videos regularly actually hope for some more LGA 1156 content. Recently or well quite recently I got a quite uh, simple lot of these uh, of these uh, P55 CPUs not very large one but anyways a few of these CPUs from my friend Alexi here in Finland and there are a few CPUs that are worth testing. The most uh, certain one is this Xeon X3430. It's uh, not very popular CPU, but it's still at the same time the most popular LGA 1156 Xeon that ever existed in terms of overclocking based on the submissions on hwbot.org. So we will be testing that CPU quickly as the first CPU, and then I will test those uh, two CPUs that I labeled as a maybe. So they might have a chance if they scale well enough, but they aren't very like uh, guaranteed to be the top CPUs in their own category. But anyway, so EVGA P55 Classified 200, which is my favorite motherboard for these P55 CPUs. Uh, two sticks of Corsair dominated CDX2 memory, as we need to push the base clock pretty high on this uh, CPU model. It's better to use hypers than something like BBSE. If you need to stay low enough in terms of the base clock, which uh, you shouldn't do because pushing the base clock really pushes the uncore that really matters a lot for SuperPi 32M performance, for example. But if you need to stay at lower base clock values, then something like BBSE can be a good option. But you want, if you want to get the most out of SuperPi 32M, for example, you need to push the base clock, aka the Anko, as high as possible. So I will use those dominated GDX2 sticks over there. Uh, you might notice the CPU container is a little bit turned, so it's not like aligned very straight. That's because I'm using the 775 mounting holes, so I'm using the F1 Dark. CPU container from KimpingGooling.com. I'm using the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly as I want to save the KPX for the more proper CPU models. As this is a Linfield CPU, the temperature range will be something from minus 70 to minus 110. Or that's something I expect at least. NVIDIA 6500GT with monitor, signal as always, and C-Sonic Prime 1300W Platinum as the power supply. Windows XP and Server 2003. I will start in Windows XP for W primes, etc. Then I will move on to Server 2003 for the single threaded stuff. So let's hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Yes, I could actually use the T-Rex container, but it's very on the edge. Does it fit on this board? It wouldn't fit with the 775 mounting holes, but it should fit if mounted correctly with the uh, 1156 mounting holes. But F1 Dark should do just fine anyways. It's just a bit slower to cool down initially. Okay, P55 is always a bit hard to post, but now I'm 4.55 with auto MEMS still. Let's try to get the W Prime first. It's something like 6.6. .6. Think we should be able to get it. So, I think this will be one attempt, top score, 1.5 volts. Yep, uh, no, but close. It's 240 times 19, something like this. Move to four six fifty five. Okay, so this should do it. I need to check what's the one thousand twenty four M. I think it should be lower than this. And for signal for that stuff, we can use a higher multiplier, anyways. Okay, new top score. At 4.64. So 6.563, like 40 millisecond gain over the previous top score made by that 
Actually, is he from Germany? Whatever, I don't know. But anyways, that's the new top score. It's, it's, a, it's actually... Uh, which actually not, I was checking a tags run. So the to top score is by Swedish guy, 6.406. At 4.7, so my bad, that was the score by tag for 1024 amp. So let's push even more. Okay, now I managed to do the initial post P55. Linfields, they are always a bit annoying to post for the first time. So 4.75 ish. Top score in W Prime 32 is made up like 4.711. Memories are at auto settings still. I think I shouldn't really need them. And the top score for W Prime 32 is 6.406, something like this. I'm only at like a minus 65. Okay, that's the new top score. It's actually my second attempt. I had one attempt before, but I don't include that one in this video. So 6.391 at 4.747. Previous top score by some Swedish guy on single stage at 4.711. 6.406. But I realized I cannot move the base clock too much inside the operating system as it will hang. So let's try to increase it a bit more. And then run the 1024 amp. Okay. So I'll bring it up to that's 4845. Okay, it's set it and then it hangs. Okay, I think we can leave this out here. We don't need to push this overly much. Close to 4.8, 202.75. So almost a 10 second improvement over the previous top score made by tag. Let's run the 32 and one, one more time. Okay, our max clock seems to be somewhere around 4.9, so validation especially is out of reach. 1M and PyFast are out of reach. I could do rank 2s in like PyFast, but even that's quite on the edge. I got like 17 point seven, eight or nine, something like this. But yeah, top one, the GDX uh, five, eight, the Canadian guy, definitely out of reach. But 32 amp should be easy if it's just stable enough. It's done at 4.7 with lower uncore, lower mems. So this is now at 4.75. Let's try to do this. Okay, new top score in SuperPi 32M with the Xeon X3430. Seven minutes, 38.9, 22 seconds. That's like uh, almost a six second improvement over the previous top score made by Tante Kainte, or however you pronounce his name, he's from Germany. He was at seven minutes, 44.844. At 4.7, this is a 4.75 ish. Higher encore, this is better mems 2000 cast 6, 675, 80, 60, 100, 8, 1, my usual 775 configuration. So we got 32M and the W primes, but we most likely aren't gonna get high fast 1M validation. Validation, especially, definitely no. But yeah, that's pretty much it, at least for now. And okay, I will not be wasting any more LN2 on this CPU or with this CPU. So we did see 4.9, but 
it's still 200 megahertz to 300 megahertz away from the highest validation by that Canadian guy so definitely out of reach but we managed to get the rank 1 score in Superbike 32M what was it like almost a 6 second improvement over there W Prime 32 I did see 6.25 but I couldn't save it so we got like 6.35 something like this so definitely better than the previous rank 1 score by the Swedish guy and 1024M I think we the lowest we got was like 202 to 204 seconds so a nice 6 to 8 second improvement over the previous rank 1 score made by TAG from Austria so we definitely need a better CPU so far it seems that this CPU doesn't scale that well from the cold temperatures of liquid nitrogen on ambient it could be a bit better like 100 to 200 megahertz better but it's still always a question mark about the cold scaling so this isn't one of my favorite CPUs in the end I'm uh, more into those normal mainstream uh, CPU models like the Core i5 i3 i7 variants but I just wanted to give this one a go because I thought at least the W primes should be pretty easy but yeah all of the top scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video so please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon pages uh, as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching some of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one